Hello everybody and welcome back to Rebellious Menstruation. Today we are looking at incontinence underwear. Uh, we have skirted around this before um, as often it is asked whether cloth pads and period underwear can be used for urine incontinence. The answer is uh, a little bit, the answer is a little bit murky because it's kind of both yes and no. It means kind of. <laughs> um, the reason is blood and urine are essentially different fluids. Uh, it's kind of stating the obvious here, I know. And menstrual blood um, and urine exit the body at different flow rates and in different ways. While you may lose 30 to 80 ml of blood in a cycle, generally, that's the general amount of blood that you will lose, it will happen over three to six days whereas urine will be all at once. Generally, you'll have a big gush at once. Sometimes, obviously, incontinence can be more of just like a permanent, um, like, drip or dribble, but in general, you might just have, like, a spurt every now and then. Um, and it will be more fluidic. Therefore, there are differences in the products available for either issue and the appropriate product can actually make all the difference um, in how you, you know, feel about it. Often, appearance-wise at least, the underwear can appear to be the same or similar to each other, like the period underwear and incontinence underwear, um, but their functionality is significantly different. As honestly, so can the pads be. They look very similar and they kind of are worn very similar, but their functionality and how they absorb the liquid is actually quite different. Both underwear and pads come in disposable and reusable options. Incontinence pads hold polymers of super absorbent variety or of a super absorbent variety that can expand and turn into gel as fluid touches them at a more rapid pace than cloth generally can. These polymers can absorb liquid at high at a high rate and can absorb high speed and mass amounts, making them useful for this particular urine scenario. This gel will also remove urine from sitting against the skin and causing infection or rashes, which of course is another advantage. Menstrual pads do not absorb this quickly or do not absorb the amount required and they do not remove necessarily urine from sitting against the skin Obviously, some cloth pads will wick blood away, but as I said before, urine and blood exit the body at different flow rates generally. And you really want the removal of urine from sitting against your skin. Incontinence pads have a different layering system specifically designed for rapid fluidic flow. Menstrual pads are designed for the thick menstrual flow that exits your body. I know I keep saying this, but it is important to understand why they are different and what options are actually out there for you to get. While there are disposal companies like Depends or Always, that produce what are essentially adult nappies or adult pull-up underwear, kind of like pull-ups you would get for a toddler. Um, there are indeed companies producing reusable incontinence underwear for both men and women that uh, function as incontinence underwear and are washable and reusable. Um, companies such as Modi Body, which is the Australian period underwear company they also have uh, swimwear and an incontinence underwear line um, flux there is obviously um, as much as i have issues with uh, thinks um, flux is also another company that presents quite a few issues but they do have reusable um, incontinence underwear 
Hong thinks so do they. <laughs> um, there is an Australian company called Connie um, who actually is in this field of um, kind of incontinence uh, products. So I will, uh, you'll know most of the, you'll know the other companies like Thinks, Flux and Modi Body that I mentioned. Um, so I will actually link them down below so you can actually have a look. Um, and all of those three companies have menstrual product lines. Um, but today we'll just have a quick chat about Connie, um, which is C-O-N-N-I. Um, and it really does specialise in incontinence products and has done for over 16 years. Of course, um, Connie will also be linked below, so you can check them out. Um, Connie was created to respond to consumer needs for incontinence products that are free from PVC, latex and formaldehyde. Um, and its parent company, Galway Trading, also um, has a menstrual care line as a, um, that offers period underwear and a menstrual cup and is called Acalia Period Underwear. Um, they also, so this Connie brand has Connie Kids for nappies. Um, they have uh, bedding, um, like the lined bedding that you can put on your bed. Um, kind of like I suppose you'd think for kids, but they have obviously adult king and queen sizes that you can actually put these covers on your bed in case of nighttime incontinence, obviously, um, if you're an adult. Um, and they also obviously then have children's like toddler training underwear. They have incontinent swimwear. They have um, like pet training pads and uh, sleep mats and stuff like that. And Connie holds um, international o Okio Tex accreditation for standard safe fabrics that sit close to human skin. Um, as I said before, Connie offers period underwear under the Acalia brand period underwear. Connie offers incontinence underwear in, uh, for f well, for females, I guess, in three styles, active, classic and chantilly. They are all in black, beige and pink colours and they range in sizes from 8 to 26. These three designs contain four layer wicking technology. Um, men's come in two styles, are available in black and grey and are kind of like a boxer brief, a, a boxer style short and a, like a brief style short. And they come in, as I said, two colours, black and grey. Um, which is kind of the point that these are meant to give you the ability to wear something that will contain your incontinence in a discreet and odourless manner, while also obviously not being obvious that you are actually wearing incontinence underwear. So um, it's meant to kind of be this discreet availability that, you know, because adult incontinence does obviously come with its own sense of shame and embarrassment surrounding that, which a lot of people then obviously have issues um, talking about or ordering. So I think Connie on their website also offers discreet packaging for adults that if you are obviously receiving these items via post, then, you know, there's not going to say on it, you know, incontinence underwear. So, <laughs> incontinent, in, incontinence underwear fills a gap where adult men and women may not uh, want to wear, like, the nappy style. Um, this is, I think we've dis I've discussed this before, but I hate it when, like, pads and tampons, either in cloth pad or not, like, the traditional, like, kind of disposable, um, are discussed as nappies because that's never been an experience, that is. These um, incontinence pull-ups are, are actually essentially nappies and this is where it's appropriate to use the right terminology. When we use the wrong terminology, it kind of creates issues. But um, this period underwear is actually meant to provide alternatives to wearing those pull-up nappies for adults, like those depends and always. Um, so there is this obviously shame and embarrassment with incontinence at, as much the same as with menstruation 
and in in so much as the way that period underwear for menstruation um, provides a period alternative this provides an alternative for social freedom and a, a, ability to move obviously around again i'll link all these um, in the description box below so you can check them out um, and thanks for watching um, the Connie in Australia is part of the NDIS program, so there are discounts that can apply as long as you're a member of NDIS. Um, that's probably a good thing to point out if you're Australian. Um, again, thanks for watching. Links will be on screen for playlists and subscription. Um, and enjoy your morning, afternoon or evening, depending on where you are in the day. And videos are up twice a week, and I will see you next video. Bye everyone.